Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm super excited to show you what we have going on in our garden. Come on in. We have a lot going on in here this year. Pretty excited about it. I did change things up. We used to have over here some garlic chives. I actually moved them back into what I'm calling our herb garden, which we started this year. So that opened up some more space here for us to do things a little bit differently. So I do have radishes going right now that need to be picked. There's only a few left because they grew real fast and we got them and ate them already. And then I got a few cantaloupe going right in here. We haven't had much luck with them in the years past, so I'm kind of excited to see how they do in a planter box style versus out in our field. When we did them out in the field, we had a lot of problems with um, deer and things. So now that we have this fenced in, I'm hoping that those do better. We also have our tomatoes going, which as you can tell are already doing great back here. They seem to do way better in this garden than they do up front. Um, the only thing I've run into this year so far is it has been an extremely rainy season. So we're having a little bit of problem with overwatering because you can't control the weather. But we got some tomatoes growing over here, my Romas. They can kind of peek in there and get in there. Tomatoes are always one of the most exciting ones that we get because we eat so many of them and they're just so much better fresh from a garden than they are in a store. So it's one of the main things I look forward to. And then we got our beets as usual. I planted them at all different times. So we got different sizes growing in here right now, which is the way I like it because then you can just pick and they'll keep growing and then reseed. And those are the kids' favorites. So we do tend to try to do more beets than anything else. My potatoes, as you can tell, are just crazy. They're already flowering. And they should be just about ready here. Not really. There we go. There's a big one right there. So I'll have to weed through here and go through and pick those up. You just got to remember to hill these when they start to tip over. They always seem to do really well back here. And over on this side, I have my carrots, which are looking fabulous. Better space this year. If you've watched years past, I used to do them super, super thick and then just go through and thin them out. This year I did a better job planting, so I don't have to really do much thinning with them, which is nice because less work is better. Over here, I have some lettuce that's overgrown. We kind of just pick it and eat it as we go and then I reseed. The best time to plant lettuce is actually spring or fall, so I really do need to get in here and get this pulled out and plant something else in that spot. I also tried Brussels sprouts this year, and they're doing pretty good. I've never done them before, so I'm kind of excited to see how they go. My thistle, which I need to come in here and pull out, has kind of creeped into here, so I'll need to get in there and get at that, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't have gloves on. So if you come over here, this is one of my new additions. I've been wanting one of these for so long. I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and get one, but this is my blackberry bush. I love them. They're so tasty. So I'm excited to finally have one. So I'm excited to see how this one does. And then my black raspberries, which you can tell are hokey. They're um, coming in pretty good. They're still pretty red and small, so they'll get about double that size and then they'll turn, they'll look almost like a blackberry except smaller, but they'll get that color when they're ready. So they look like they're ready to eat, but they actually are not because these ones will get bigger and they're black, so they'll get darker. Boxes, we did beans, our green beans, and they are doing really good too. We should have some here soon. They're starting to flower out and as you can tell, vining out and going everywhere which is what you want to see. And they have overtaken everything. We also did them over here too. This one looks especially full. And like I said, it's been a really wet year, so we really haven't had to do much watering, which that part is nice, except for the tomatoes. But they're looking great. And then we have inside the greenhouse, which if you watch us, you'll remember last year we did all of this for the first time. 
So this year it's been a lot lower maintenance since everything's been done. But what I did this year is we finally got this one um, fi filled with dirt. So now I put a strawberry patch in here. So hopefully they'll just regrow every year um, and keep fruiting. I did an ever bearing one. So they'll fruit more than once. And so far they've been doing really good. The only problem we've run into is we've had a bunny around here, which has been a little bit tricky to deal with. Um, but I think it's only gotten a few of the strawberries. So we sealed up where we think he's been coming in. And the thing I like about strawberries is they'll just kind of spread and grow and grow. So eventually I'll have to kind of get in here and split them up and maybe move them into another planter box. Looks like we got some wild kale growing in here. You can eat it. You don't have to just throw it like I did. It seems to grow really well in the soil for whatever reason. Over here, I did a winter squash just because I wanted to see how it would do inside of the greenhouse environment. And because I got it planted a little bit sooner. And this one is doing really well. As you can tell, it's kind of taking over everything. But that's fine. And then next to it, I did jalapeno peppers. They're coming in nicely, almost ready to be picked. I like them a little bit bigger than that. And then chili peppers. So this will turn red. Use it for chili and salsas and things like that. Tacos. So those are good and growing well. And my blueberry bushes. This one's looking really good. These ones don't fruit out quite yet. This one looks like something's kind of been picking at it. But um, these are usually more like August, September. So they'll come around. But they came back and are doing great. And then this is what we did here last year. And it worked so well, we just decided to keep them. So we did um, different varieties of peppers back here. <laughs> you can see my beans kind of spilled through and are wrapping themselves around my pepper plant. It's kind of pretty. So I have a few different variety of peppers. They're growing pretty good here. Even got little mini peppers. They like more of a hot environment, which is why we keep them inside the greenhouse. And on this side, we did the same thing. More peppers. There's one. And as the plants get bigger, the peppers will get bigger as well. This one's stunted, but still growing. 